Hey guys, my name's Nate and I'm the Outer Outdoorsman. In this video, I'm going to be opening up the September 2018 Karen box by GetKaren.com. Again, as always, this is a not a sponsored video. It's just kind of one that I like to open up on camera. Um, so let's just dig right in. Um, at the end of the video, there will be a card in the upper right hand corner of the video uh, where you can vote as to which item in the box is your favorite uh, item. Uh, last month in the August one, it was the Matador Pocket Blanket. Everyone really liked that, but some people like some of the other products. Well, let's see what's in here and what your favorite one is. Also, occasionally, I may be drinking some beer. It's been a long week at work. Guinness Nitro IPA. Not sponsored either. Because these unboxings are casual. Um, okay, so the first one is a product by Outdoor Edge and it is one of these type of sharpeners. I'm not gonna test it. I'm personally not a huge fan of these style of sharpeners. Um, for my main knives, I am a, uh, I really like whetstones because I can control the angle. I've been using a whetstone my entire life. I'm not even joking, I've been using whetstones since maybe I was about seven. However, one of the things I do like about this is a stand. Um, has coarse and fine. Um, so... Let me see. I mean, I've used it from some of my cheap blades before, but I've also seen it kind of ruin blades before. I use it a lot of times for if I'm being really lazy with like some of my cheaper blades, like literally like my Swiss Armies. <laughs> because the, the, my Swiss Armies that have like really cheap stainless steel, I really don't care too much about. Um, but like my really good knives, I tend to not touch these. I use my sharpening kits. Um, but yeah, so that's what this is. I'm not gonna test it on camera because as I said, um, I really take my time with sharpening. So I don't wanna subject you to my sharpening. But so this is the Outdoor Edge Sharpening Kit. Not really my favorite, it's a Sharp X. Two stage ceramic carbide knife sharpening with pivoting X base. Let's see what else we got. Uh, Paratinder shoelaces. So these are shoelaces that have tin ignite, uh, ig that have uh, tinder in it. Um, so it has a red cord that can ignite and they can also be used as, so the core can be used to light and basically the outside can be maintained as a boot lace. I'm not sure if I'd keep these as my boot laces. It's by Ultimate Survival Technologies. I'm actually kind of a fan of some of the Ultimate Survival Technologies products. Like, I'm not, like, I don't rely on all of them, but some of their products aren't too bad. I do buy them from time to time. A lot of my survival kits have them. And I'm not huge on, I know some people are, making their shoelaces into survival equipment. But as someone who likes having his shoes work, I'm not big on it. But... I may consider this, considering I'm also not a big fan of my current, my new Keens uh, shoelaces, because they're a little too stiff and these are a lot looser. So I may be swapping these out, because who knows, emergencies. But at the same time, I don't know if I'd want to take these because I'm going to be flying with my Keens soon. I'm not sure if I'd want to take these because they're flammable. So it's, it's a take, it's a give and take. So. If anyone wants to give me some input on that, because I'm not sure, I've not had to fly with these before, something like this before. 
So if anyone has any knowledge on that, I may look up, but if you've ever had to look into that before, have some insight into it, please let me know getting something like this past TSA. I mean, I may have to just check to check it if I do do it, but it's interesting. But it's a shoelace with a tinder core. I'd personally just rather carry some form of tinder in my pouch. But that's, that's me. Ooh, this is something I've actually legit been looking at. Okay, cool. Um, and I, I'm not even kidding, I've actually been looking at these. Uh, so this, this, this box definitely gets 100% worth it from me because of this one product. And it's the, un, the Ultimate Sorrel Technologies Tech Fire LED Fire Free Lighter. One hundred percent worth it. This box makes me ten times happier because of this product. Because I've been wanting to play with these. Um, because they light fires via arc welding. Um, I don't know if this has. Well, this doesn't have charge, but they work via that, and you generally have to. Let's see. Oh yeah, it has some juice. So. I've been wanting to mess with these because I just, I like cool gadgets. Um, but it also comes with a flashlight. Um, I like cool gadgets. I mean, it's electricity, so you're, the downside of this is you are then relying on your fire's ability to to have a charge. So you're relying on a lithium ion battery to produce the arc charge, which sends electricity between these two diodes, which basically builds a small amount of plasma. And Is that reliable? Not 100%. But that's why I have my philosophy of carrying more than one form of fire. So I may carry this as my main, so say, if I had this out as my main source of fire, I'd still have a fire rod in my pack and I'd still have another source of fire in my kit. So if this failed, I still have option B and option C, and possibly even option D. And that way, this is not my only option. And that's how I build my kits. Redundancy, but I wouldn't carry five of these. I would carry three different sets or three different options. And that's how I build my kits. If you ever pay attention to my kits or my survival kits and stuff like that, I never build one type of fire into my kits. Because one method does not work not every method works in every situation. So this method may work great in some situations, which I don't know because I haven't played with it yet. Which I should stop doing so I don't burn my house down, which I'm not going to do, I'm great. But um, nevertheless, I haven't gotten a chance to play with this yet. But I don't know what the best situations for those are, but I know some of the great, better situations for ferro rods. I know some of the better situations for flint and steel. And so using the, having those different sets in my kits, I know, okay, I can use this situation, I can use this, and I can use this. And okay, I'm in this situation, I'm gonna go for this. So that's kind of why I build my kits like that. And that's why I'm really excited to try this out because for what I like to do, this may be perfect, even though I have other options. Save. Let's see. So we have So we have a blue sticker. we have Kate's Real Food 
stash bar. Hand rolled and tasted. I'm going to attempt once to show you the ingredients. I'm not even gonna, because of how this is, I'm not even gonna try and show you the uh, nutritional facts, so. If you can see it, pause it. And that gives you an idea of what's in the product, what's in it. I like doing that because then, I, cause I sometimes have trouble doing it. But, you can always use the internet. But anyways, let's see what is in, how this tastes. So this, this is peanut butter, hemp, and flax. flax. I'm a big fan of hemp. So, not bad. Not good. Not amazing, not bad. So, very much. So, the taste is very much a, if you had a very weedy peanut butter cereal without milk. Which is how I eat my cereal because I'm lactose intolerant. But, yeah, so, it's a, a weedy, it tastes very much like a like a peanut buttery cereal. You can tell they toasted them, so you kind of get the toastiness of the the hemp and the flax in the back of your throat or the back of your tongue. Oh, wash that down with something else that's been roasted and then boiled yeah. and fermented. Anyways, so this is where you guys get to choose. My favorite item is the um, Techfire LED. It's something I've been wanting to, legitimately been getting my, wanting to get my hands on. Just because I have. Um, there's a couple other models like this I've been wanting to get my hands on, but I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these electric lighters for a while. Um, but, so, time to vote. You have one, two, three, four, five. Five items to vote on. So, is it the Outdoor Edge Sharp X? Which I'm not a big fan of these type of products, but if you get a good edge out of them, good on you. I'm big on a whetstone, but do you like the Sharp X? Do you like the Paratinder shoelaces? And again, remember if you can know if these can get through, like even check bags, let me know down below. It'd be great advice for flights. Um, do you like the Ultimate Charlotte Technologies Tech Fire LED fuel free lighter? Mostly because, you know. Do you like the peanut butter, hemp, and flax Kate's Real Food Bar? It tastes very much like a peanut buttery cereal. Or do you like the blue and brown sticker? Which one is your favorite item? Vote up here. Um, yeah, so, as I said. Um, so next, so, that's been this box. I just kind of want to give a quick announcement, if, especially if you are a big fan of my unboxings and you do follow along with them. Um, next month's October unboxing is dubious as to when it's going to be released. It is either going to be released on time in the middle of the month or 
It's going to be released early November. Depends on when I get the box. Um, I am going to be away for part of October. Not saying when, but I will be away. And I have uh, videos planned for October. Scheduled. Um, and it's partially because, well, I'm getting married. Um, so it depends on when the box gets in here, if I can video, if I can record the box and edit it and upload it. Uh, if I can't, it will be up in November. If I can, it will be up. All depends on when it comes in. This box particularly is up late because it came up, it came late. So, um, yeah, so if this video comes up late, I'm sorry. If the next video comes up late, I'm sorry. Um, but it just means you'll get two of them close together and you won't have to wait as long to see what I get because some of these boxes are very different from each other. Uh, we all unbox different uh, boxes sometimes, so you may have different Karen Box unboxers that unbox different things because there are a few of us who do this, so. Anyways, my name's Nate. I'm the Outer Outdoorsman. Get outside. Have fun. I am. Um, I've been trying to amongst my busy, busy schedule. So, see everyone.